Okay. I just want to show my friends how I take this. This probably looks much cleaner when it's up like that. Anyhow, this dirty fleece. And there's the cut side. It's kind of nippy. And uh, with this little tool, just a coat, little uh, wire comb um, from the dollar store for dogs. The other side is even, the other part that came with it is even finer for fleas. So I use the, this is the wide one. Oop. Okay. So I got this big piece. And I probably rip off maybe. I don't know. That's a lot. Oh, hold on. I have my clean stuff underneath there right now. Okay, rip off a chunk. Get my clean stuff away. Okay, and all I do, well, I don't have my dirty bucket here. There's a larger piece of the, um, okay. All I have to do is comb it. It's very exciting. Can you see all the dust that comes off as I do it? A little bit. I'm seeing it dancing in the sunlight, but probably just below where you guys are seeing. Okay. Anyhow, I don't normally have to do it that slow. I kind of mean and I rip through it pretty good. <coughs> That's what I think of you. So not very much comes off the end there. No, oh, these aren't proper tools. I wish I had wool cones, and I don't yet, but I will. Okay, so it's looking better. Look how fluffy that is. Now, usually I line it up a bit nicer. A little more. My feet now. Okay, babes. dirty part there. It's got a lot of stuff stuck inside of it there. Little bits. Actually that's what most of my fleece is like with all that little bits. But I discovered Ta da huh. Of course normally I would be doing it so it wouldn't fall into itself. <laughs> Instead of trying to hold it way out in front of me and in front of the camera. In lighting. On a Covered day. Cloud covered day, I should say. Okay, so I have a bit more waste now. I haven't gotten to the other end. And then I just check which way does that lock go. Oh, it goes up here. Because the benefits of it being washed and still kind of all looking matted together in its locks is that I can pull apart locks. It's not all separated and pieces going every which way. So I can keep it together. It was really hard on my arms to do it this way. It's so far away from me. Okay, and now this is the cut end, so it tends to have more of the short bits and the second cuts and this stuff gets all brushed out and I have to stick my finger Behind. It's kind of like, I don't know, actually the best example I can think of is from back in the day brushing my little pony's hair. You know, you have to do it really carefully because it's that nylon and it'll break if you uh, just rip through it, but it can get really ridiculously tangled. Now I'm starting to get a lot more crud. Now usually I just pull this off. Mm. So I have a large bucket full of all this stuff that I've pulled off that I work over in the basement and uh, I don't know could clean it I guess try to get some of the but I brush right into it so it's got a lot of the dirt in it and debris I could try to I don't know separate that out and use it for stuffing or whatever but uh, I probably won't I'll be honest there's so much of it maybe with a future for these um, but seeing as how I have all the fleeces to work with, uh, I'll just compost it or something. Okay, see, that didn't take much. This is actually taking longer than it normally would. Now, because it's got 
a fair bit of lanolin still in it. it tends to be kind of um, sticky a bit still in the middle where I was holding it, so which I wouldn't have this problem if I was working with proper tools <laughs> that don't require me to hold it. Um, but if it's really bad, if I can still find like tangles, I'll work it out. But generally, just separating it by hand at this stage, just kind of fluffing it up a little. Those sticky bits disappear, and. Uh, when I come to spin, it just, it's still, I just spin usually from the middle and pull it together because this is fairly long. And this isn't the longest staple, but no, let's see. Put it away. So that's a good, when I spool that out, mm, longer than my finger, not a hand span. Um, yeah, several inches. So, with it already being very much stuck together with its own crimp and the lanolin and the fact that I haven't fully properly separated all that, <clears throat> I've tried, if I try spitting it from the ends, it doesn't uh, draft very well, but if I spin it from here, it drafts from the side, it drafts quite nicely. So, kind of, this is the most recent bucket. See? That's the larger size at the dollar store, Dollarama. That's Fenwick's tail. And then I'm just finishing up one bobbin. So I had about this much, well, a little more full maybe. I don't know, how about that much? <clears throat> and because I squish it down pretty good. And fill it up, and I'm going to do another one. And I'll apply them together. And you should have seen pictures of some applied stuff earlier. There you go, people. That's all the fleeces being spun up. Oh, here. I'll, tip this. I'll put this on the end. This is one of the skeins of all the fleeces. Um, got, I didn't grab it very well <laughs> off of the table. Just finished drying recently. So, that was probably two half bobbins spun together to make almost a full bobbin, not as much. This was my first bit of using this nicely combed, not so dirty, not so full of VM stuff. Once I figured out that this really simple comb and just kind of combing both ends made for really lovely bats and if I spun them from the middle they came out uh, really really nice. So I am happy. And oh yeah, I tried carding them. And carding this stuff does not come out nice at all. So I will keep doing it this way. And hopefully get wool coats.